Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. Bravo, bravo! Vamos a ver con... En esta sí que estoy mucho más nervioso que en la anterior. Mucho más. No que a mí ese movimiento ganchado que hace. No, siempre haciendo así, que no. Porque hace así. Ah, como Conor. Así como Conor McGregor. Well, fans around the world have been waiting with bated breath for this young man to make his walk to the octagon. That wait ends tonight. And man, is this guy's wrestling high level, borderline world class. Collegiate credentials to prove it. And you gotta think he figures to lean on that wrestling in this matchup tonight. Not just good at getting guys down, Joe, but controlling them once they are there. Scary proposition for really any non-grappler on this UFC roster. This guy is an excellent grappler. What he wants to do here is get a hold of his opponent and bring the fight to his world. Either press him up against the cage, rough him up with dirty boxing, or drag him to the ground, control him, and possibly submit him. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds. In this fight, this fight is more important than Andres Angel. In this fight, it's more important than Andres Angel. In this fight, it's more important than Andres Angel. In this fight, it's more important than Andres Angel. In this fight, it's more important than Andres Angel. In this fight, it's more important than Andres Angel. 1.75 en la estatura del joven interesante en la vida real y que se acepta en que se pinta ahora está este es señor que es cosa y uno por sí que no lo come en la casa no lo mismo gusta porque hasta ahora veo esto y voy a poner este tengo un poco de esto y el referee con esto El referido otra vez es Miragliota. Miragliota. Dan a Miragliota. Dan Mugliata. Round one. All right, here we go with round one. As many of you know, this has been one of the greater knockout artists on the roster over the last several years. The majority of his recent wins have come by way of knockout. This is a guy who goes... Oh! He's in trouble. Oh. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Oh, huge right hand. He's wrong. Oh, big left hook there. Stances here. There he goes. Bam. Oh, big left hand. Big body, body shot. shot there too. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Oh, he's out. He's out. And just oh. like that, the fight is over. Perdí. Perdí mi primera pelea. Beautiful timing and execution for a knockout blow. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, Joe, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Mm -hmm. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Here we see it again. Boom. 
So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hazuka. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and Ah, no, perdí cinco mil fans. Ok, no me acuerdo bien. Qué triste. Sí, muy triste. Muy triste. Sí, estaba bien nervioso. Perdí porque me puse muy nervioso. Pero, y además no me defendí bien. Me, me descubrí la, la defensa. Descubrí la defensa. Uy, este ha ganado 18. Uy, pues madre, este es duro. Duro, duro, duro. Me tocó cambiar de gimnasio y no podía, no podía darme la, el lujo de perder tanta plata que invertí en el anterior por la pérdida. toco y yo le quité la música para que después no me quiten el... por el derecho popular burst fight seis ganadas dos perdidas no Ay. Muy mal, me parece muy mal. Ay, ay. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division battle. Oops.
Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. Pues sí, pero... Eso no, no, no es importante. Va a tocar conseguir un, uno de esos, este control, editarlo como el que tú tienes Alejandro para la pelea. Va a tocar mandar a editar un scop, un scop, un control scop para Xbox One. Well, American Top Team really believes they have a future champion on their hands here. His name is Ill Will Brooks. Outside the UFC, he won a major title, and that's a huge feather in his cap. He comes to the UFC with a long list of big signature wins, big fight experience, five-round experience, and we'll see what he chooses to do here tonight. He's a thoughtful fighter, high fight IQ, and a fighter who can attack you in a number of different ways. This guy is an outstanding wrestler, and what he wants to do here is avoid any striking confrontations, close the distance, grab a hold of his opponent, and bring the fight down to the ground where he should have an advantage. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight scrap. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds. This fight is three rounds. This fight is three rounds. Introducing Bruce. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of six wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Dollar Bill. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler. Holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Portland Creek, Florida. Ill Will Brooks. Mira, aquí donde está, es el primer de todos los encuentros ahora. So Dan Bergliano shares the cage. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Will Brooks, smart fighter, high fight IQ. On oh, yet another one. Oh. Oh. oh, massive elbow from the top. Nice hammer fist. And very effective with the ground and pound. He got tagged there. He's looking to take the back. Brooks goes to the clinch here early in the fight. Well, his opponent's got the lead now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern in the tempo, where he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because his stamina is low. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Beautiful stuff there. Great job landing a series of punches. Oh! Wow. Goes down again. Oh! Wow. That's it. Wow. What the hell is that guy has? Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike oh. from the top. Oh. 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 Oh.
to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Bang! Lo paran en la malla y lo pisan. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gabriel Rianzo has called to stop in this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. So just the way he threw it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight. Ellos nada más graban. Sí, pero yo le puse ese apodo. Pues pereza de ellos. Por no ponerle a Andrés Ángelo. Que no, le graban todos los no nombres sé. o que le ponen una voz computarizada. No le ponen. A mí dicen hay mil fans. Muy bajo el. el... No, porque recuperé antes Ahí. tenía menos fans. Llegó la mamá.